I, 30M, finally got truth and pride out confessions from my wife, 30F, of five years that she's been having an affair for months. I finally got some trickle truths last night from my wife. I set a clear boundary with her that she wasn't to drink alone with her friend back in the south when she went to visit for a bridal shower last weekend, we recently moved up north. She told me her story of what she did that weekend, purely innocent. I got the suggestion to contact the dude's girlfriend. I didn't want to at first, but boy am I glad I did. I asked if she ever felt off about these two. She says, yeah, we've talked about it but he swears they're just good friends. She mentioned she wasn't happy that my wife slept at his place this past weekend. Whoa, what? Then I confronted my wife who doubled down on the same lies. Then I showed her the receipts. She then changes her story to okay I hung out with him but we didn't drink and you said that was okay. I didn't tell you because I knew you'd be upset I'm like you were just drinking in a group, you think it's okay to go home with this dude just because you didn't keep drinking? Then it was I don't remember where we went, I was too drunk. After a lot of prying, pointing out lies and inconsistencies, it became we kissed, then we made out for an hour and then I have feelings for him I don't know what to do with and then we kissed back in November, too. Who knows what she's still hiding, but that's enough for me. I honestly don't see a way out of this that includes us still being married. I left the house and checked into a hotel. I've been having so much anxiety since seeing all the red flags since November. Finally getting some validation after all the gaslighting is a huge relief. It feels 100% better to ask around and risk being wrong and looking like an asshole than to enable the gaslighting and tear apart your mental health while doing it. Alcoholism is a bitch and get some therapy. To deal with it, but that's not an excuse for cheating. Now let's look at the comment before the update. You were made to believe that you are paranoid that marriage isn't for you, but in reality, it isn't for her. They did more than kiss and that two married than one occasion. You have the proof that she cheated and her confession. Contact a lawyer and let her cheating out to everyone including the GF of that guy. She deserves to know. Separate your finances and continue the therapy. Get STD slash STI tested. Drop her like a bad habit. She a cheating ass cake eater that is manipulating her ATM, you. She needs to leave the house and you for however long you need for yourself. If I was in you position I would file for divorce, have her leave the home, tell all sides of the family everything. If she wants to win back her husband she better do the hard work and get busy make changes in herself and doing some world class ass kissing. There are plenty of other women in the world that will treat you right, be faithful, Dump this one and go find one of the ones you can count on. Good luck. You are making a good choice by ending it. You cannot stay married if you are the only one who has boundaries that you stick to. She made these choices, now you make your choices based on your plan for future happiness, and hear me. You will not find happiness with her for a very long time, if ever. She might stop drinking and make a few life changes, but you will always remember how easily she turned on you. Get ready for the fake tears and promises, but know she will act correctly for only a few months. Update Though it's still anxiety-inducing, it gets easier every day to talk about being cheated on. Some commented on the original post asking for an update a while back and I'm at the point now where I can share what happened and what I've learned. Most of this is going to be little nuggets of experience. As of last week and five months after filing, I am officially, legally divorced. She begged me not to go through with divorce, got therapy to help her with her personal issues, but she ended up moving out in May and back to the city we left where her co-worker is. Gee I wonder why. I've been dating someone for a couple months, and man I gotta say getting back out there does wonders for self-esteem and anxiety. While I once felt like my wife was the one, and maybe she was at that point in my life, in retrospect we weren't that compatible. Now I'm having much more amazing sex, feeling more supported and less judged for being myself, and have more time for myself and to do what I want. She was relatively flexible in negotiating the settlement as long as it was equitable. I took out a personal loan to buy her out of her share of the house, 
and I'm making extra money to pay it off. Divorce is expensive and complicated. More expensive than you think. We had a relatively simple, amicable split with no kids, a newly purchased house and little bit of retirement accounts to divvy up, and I still racked up over $10,000 in legal fees and it took months longer than I thought it would. I now have so much knowledge about divorce, estate and alimony laws in different states, and I hope I never need to use it again. Prenups may feel icky, but if I ever get married again, I'll consider one. Time helps. Every passing day made things a little bit easier to deal with. Therapy also helps. In my case, practicing different meditation techniques with a therapist gave me good tools to bring myself back to center whenever I got pissed off or anxious. Find your support people. I have a friend who had also been cheated on that has been a fucking enlightening bro through this whole ordeal. The other guys, now ex, girlfriend was also a great person to talk to and commiserate with. I've definitely learned a bit about human behaviors, and everyone commenting on my posts helped me see what I wanted to ignore. Adults don't get drunk alone together. Adults don't have sleepovers. Adults don't stay up all night with someone unless they want to fuck. Beware of the trickle truth. Trust your gut. Don't be afraid to raise a little hell to get some answers if something feels off. Talk to her friends, and anyone who might be involved. The pick-me dance is real. As soon as you stop letting her have her cake and eat it too, she'll beg and cry and promise to do better. I probably have dozens of other nuggets I've gleaned from this shitty experience, and I'm always happy to share with those interested. Life is messy and people are often shitty, but optimism that things will be better with time is a powerful thing.